Hi, this is John from Artistry and Glass talking today about coffee mug repair. Now, do you have a coffee mug that has great emotional significance? Or one that brings back memories of a wonderful vacation? Breaking a favorite coffee mug can be a traumatic event, but don't worry, we can tell you how to fix it in this video. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe by pressing the button below. Now, nearly 60% of people said in a survey by Heinz that they have an emotional attachment to a coffee mug. With this love of mugs, broken handles and chips are well worth repairing. This video will teach you how to deal with the main problems associated with broken coffee cups. First, how to fix a broken handle. If your coffee mug handle is broken into several pieces, each piece must be glued together before final assembly. The steps are as follows. Make sure the broken pieces are all perfectly clean before gluing. Even the tiniest impurity, a molecule of dirt or trace of old adhesive will prevent a perfect join. There is no more important step than making sure the broken edges are perfectly clean. One of the most underestimated steps in the gluing process is to design a support system to hold the pieces in place while the glue sets up. Even the steadiest hand will find it hard to hold two pieces of china perfectly still for three or four minutes. After arranging a support system, assuming your mug is china, apply a small amount of epoxy adhesive to one of the surfaces. Squeeze the two parts together firmly, wipe off any excess glue and place the parts in their support to set up. Allow the adhesive to set up for the appropriate time. With standard 4 minute epoxy, 10 minutes or so is sufficient for you to move on to the next step. With multiple breaks, it's best to let the repaired handle cure overnight so the epoxy can achieve its full strength before final gluing. After it is full, fully cured, prepare to attach the newly repaired handle to the mug by arranging a support system like the sandbox shown. Using the standard gluing instructions of carefully cleaning and applying adhesive, use strong two-part epoxy, press the handle firmly into place, wipe off the excess glue and balance the parts in a sandbox or on plasticina so that the glue can set up and achieve full strength overnight. If the join is wobbly and the handle does not seem to fit perfectly, or simply for extra security, you can make sure the handle does not move by adding pressure sensitive tape. As always, do not use tape on a gilded surface. It may take off the gold. If you have followed our instructions carefully, the newly repaired handle should fit exactly on the mug. If it does not fit, it's likely that you have made the mistake common to the inexperienced restorer, that is using too much glue. In this case, your options are either to start all over, put the mug in a Ziploc bag halfway full of acetone and soak off the adhesive, or carefully grind off a little china with a Dremel tool, or just throw your hands up in the air, give up and buy a new mug. If you have a pottery mug rather than vitreous china, two extra strong attachment methods are the biscuit join and the pin joint. Biscuit joints are used by woodworkers for strengthening glued joints. Use this equivalent method in ceramics if you would like an extra strong bond. This method is optional and we recommend it for earthenware or low fire pottery rather than vitreous china. Use a Dremel or similar drill with a diamond disc to grind shallow grooves in the mug and in the corresponding positions on the detached handle. Drawing 2 shows how the adhesive in opposing grooves keys together, forming a biscuit joint strengthening the bond. The gluing should be done, as usual, using a sandbox or other support method. Method 2 using pinned joints. For the perfectionist aiming for a super strong joint, the use of pins is the ultimate joining method. This is best for softer, semi-porous pottery or earthenware where a diamond drill bit in a Dremel or similar tool is used to drill an 8th inch diameter hole. Using your hand-eye coordination, drill a hole in the mug handle making sure it coincides as closely as possible in position and angle to the hole in the mug. The hole only needs to be 3 sixteenths to a quarter inch deep to be effective. In order to allow some leeway in case the holes are not exactly lined up, 
You can use a wooden pin whittled down out of bamboo or a toothpick to a diameter a little under one eighth of an inch. Practice pinning the handle to the mug in a dry run. Once you are confident that the fit is perfect, fill the holes with epoxy, push the parts firmly together, then rest the mug in its customary sandbox or support to set up. When a favourite mug is broken, it occasionally happens that the handle is lost. In other cases, the handle may be too badly shattered to be repaired. If this is the case, a new handle can be created using the following steps. First, using an internet image or your best memory, trace the shape of the missing handle. You will be using 10 gauge brass wire bent into the shape of the handle to form an armature. In order to allow the putty to stick to the wire, an optional step is to use a file to notch the wire as shown in diagram 2. Next, position the wire to the shape of the handle using your sketch as a guide. In step 4, drip quick setting two part epoxy putty down onto the junction between the wire and the mug. As the epoxy starts to stiffen, mould it to enclose the wire. Before the epoxy has set up, take a look at the wire from the side view and fine tune its position to make sure it's aligned correctly. Leave the armature to set up overnight. Epoxy achieves its full strength over a period of 12 hours. The next day, use two-part epoxy putty. We recommend Epoxy Sculpt brand, which comes in natural gray or white. Mix the epoxy thoroughly and apply a small amount of tint to change the color to match the color of the mug. Carefully mold and sculpt the epoxy putty to match the shape of the handle. You have about 30 minutes effective working time as the putty gradually hardens. Use a spatula or your fingers with a little water to achieve a smooth surface. Remember, the closer you get to the shape, the less sanding you will have to do later. When the putty has set up, sand the handle smooth to the exact shape required. If the putty has not been tinted to match the colour of the wood, you'll need to paint it at this stage. Use your favourite acrylic paints and finish by spraying the handle with clear gloss varnish. If you have followed these steps correctly, your favourite mug will now be strong enough to be used for tea or coffee. But take care, wash only by hand, do not use a dishwasher, and don't use abrasive cleaners or scotch pads on the handle. With constant use and washing in the dishwasher, your favourite mug can easily get chipped. A chip looks bad and also, if it's left unattended, can develop into a crack or harbour germs. So it's best to fix it. Use the simple steps following below. To provide a grip for the epoxy, it's a good idea to roughen the surface of the chip with a file or sandpaper. Be sure to clean the chip carefully with a Q-tip and alcohol. Alcohol evaporates without leaving a residue. Using a 5-minute clear epoxy, like HFT or PC Clear, mix a very small amount of dry pigment or coloured chalk to tint one half of the epoxy to match the color of the china. When you have matched the color as closely as you can, combine the two parts of the epoxy to activate the adhesive. Drop just enough tinted epoxy onto the mug to fill the chip level with the surface. The surface tension of the glue will make it bulge up slightly higher than ideal, but with practice, you will be able to judge the optimum amount. Using the four minutes available before the glue hardens, manipulate the adhesive to fill the chip as closely as possible. Leave the epoxy to set up overnight and then sand the excess using appropriate sandpaper to flatten and smooth the glue level to the mug. An optional step is to apply nail polish or spray varnish to the epoxy. This will seal the roughened glue and match the gloss finish of the china mug. Your favourite mug with its repaired chip is now strong enough to withstand normal use. But take care not to scour the chipped area with abrasive cleaners. 
Time for a delicious cup of coffee or tea. Occasionally, your treasured mug will develop an annoying leak or slight dribble, making it impossible to use. Hairline cracks are most common in Mexican, Spanish or Italian earthenware mugs. Earthenware is a low-fired, slightly porous form of pottery that is much softer than china and bone china. Our recommendation for stopping these leaking mugs is to use transparent DAP silicone adhesive. DAP is microwave and dishwasher safe and guaranteed non-toxic. Squidge the DAP adhesive firmly into the crack from both sides. Wipe off the excess, allow to dry overnight, and test the mug in the morning. It's occasionally necessary to apply more adhesive to fill the last part of the crack. A final category of repair is when a cherished mug is broken into numerous pieces, maybe dropped onto a tile floor. This kind of repair is really beyond the capabilities of an amateur. You have two options available. One is to accept your loss, take up transcendental meditation or Zen Buddhism. The other is to bring those pieces into the mug repair experts at Artistry in Glass, where we have been fixing china and crystal since 1986, located in Midtown Tucson at 2618 East Fort Lowell Road, right opposite Winter Haven. Artistry in Glass, 520-320-0104.